All right, Coach, we are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Detroit Lions and the Cleveland Browns. This will be taken short, and he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. in store as he has to fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Second and ten at the 22-yard line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Second and ten. Going right in, that's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. He'll get 17 that time, and the Lions have a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Second and four. Yeah, he'll find Hall, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. On, but in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. yard line a rough go there on third down a loss of four this is a way but boy headed straight for the sidelines and now where will the side judge stop his walk that's the question he says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17 yard line Position on him and he pulls it in. That one goes for 24 yards. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. He 
gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A good pick up there for the Browns, 15 yards. And that was a nice, strong run by the guy they called the field general. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Jackson from the shotgun, out to his left. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 14 yards, and it's a Cleveland first down. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Now Jackson on first down. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Crash, crash. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. Hey, hey, watch the ship. Watch the ship. On second down, Jackson eluding the pressure right. And yeah, he's going to keep it here. He got him a big chunk of that yardage back, but even with that effort, it'll still be third and long. The best quarterbacks that ever played the game all wanted to blend in with their teammates and be one of the guys. But sometimes you got to take modesty and put it aside. You're the franchise quarterback, the face of the team, and the guy that leads them to victory. You have to get down and protect yourself and not take hits like that. On third down, Jackson. And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And the Browns are out to a 3-0 lead. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. Ready. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need. It's a foot race. The 30, 10, touchdown, Detroit. A great effort there. An 80-yard touchdown, and the Lions have taken the lead. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. Meanwhile, checking in on what's going on in Baltimore. And the Chiefs have jumped out to an early lead in their ball game. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. Jackson on first down, sliding out of the pocket. He's going to let this go deep. It's caught inside the 25. It's a big play there for the Browns. 51 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. From the gun, Jackson dancing to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time they'll lose one or two. After one, 7 3 the score on EA Sports. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. From 
from the gun. It's Jackson rolling to his right. And that's off the mark, incomplete. So I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? To throw is Jackson. To throw on third down. And this is caught at the eight. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Here's Jackson to throw. Steps away. And that's going to be caught for Brown's touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And once again, the Browns are back in front. And now it's blocked. It's picked up. A live ball here. He's got the lane, and there he goes. He's at the 40. Past the 20. And he's all the way into the end zone. And so much for losing the lead with the two points there. This game's back to even. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This will be taken very short. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense may be expecting a run here. Gardner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play action pass could very well be open. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. They'll try to let side. Swift, and that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. 
ended up making a nice play Bravo. even though it was complete. Hey, Sam off. Back to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. That, Charles, the first interception he's thrown here in year number two. And I know it's just the first one, but didn't it feel like what we saw from him last year where he was plagued by this type of a play? And they thought that, you know, over the offseason, going into a second season, some of that would go away. And this is caught inside the five. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. A big play there. His second touchdown on the season as his guys are able to regain the lead. Extra point good by Catanzaro. And they will take a seven-point lead. Now Catanzaro after the touchdown to kick it away. This will be taken short. offense ready to kick off their next drive they are down by a single possession here 16 to 9 as they come up first and 10 look at me go 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 here we go here we go two they'll run on first down swift and maybe a measure of revenge there he's had his way in this one but this time they get him behind the line It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Second and 11. Oh, well, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Two minutes remaining in this first half for football. We play to win. Let's a go, reminder, go. coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in this second week of the regular season. On first down, Swift. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Hey, let go. Mike Schick, 33. 33. Big stop, D. Big stop. Let's go. Hey, check my 33. Check my five. Second and 13. Open man. He's got him. The tight end, Hawkinson. And he'll be... Taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A gain of 19 yards. First down, Detroit. On the double. 33. They'll run on first down. Swift. Got a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. On second down there, Swift calling a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here, third and a yard. Well, you talked about the need for them to establish the run early. They've been able to do that here in the first half. And that means that the whole offense has adopted that attitude and that persona. We're going to take care of this young quarterback. Let's all get together and run it and take the pressure off. On third down, Swift. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Check, 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 lucky, lucky, lucky. On first down, Swift. 
Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Here's a second and seven. This caught reception by Holmes. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, here's Hopkins now out to kick it away. This will be taken very short. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Check 52. Slay, slay. SOS, SOS, SOS. Here's Jackson throwing again. And he comes back with one complete. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. First and ten, it's Jackson. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Second and ten. Here's Jackson again. Flushed out right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Jackson now from the gun, he'll throw. Looking deep downfield. Now a clash of bodies here and it's intercepted. It's Desmond Trufant. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Does that happen to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. bullet hot. Get it. They'll run on first down. Swift. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 24. And near a touchdown as they finally stop him down at about the three-yard line. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. And he's in! Touchdown, Browns! 
from three yards out. And the Browns take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. Extra point up and good by Catanzaro. And the lead now up to 14. Now Catanzaro after the touchdown to kick it away. This will be taken short. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Second and nine now. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Hall. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 61, matchbox light. Hey, Wahoo! Now back to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. First down, Lions. Ready up. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Leo, Leo. <laughs> They'll run him now out of the gun. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. 70, Indy. No gain on the play. X3, 218, top. Alert three, alert three, alert three. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Look, look, squeeze. Let's go. They'll keep it on the ground. Swim. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Set up to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off right around the 43. Boy, so another interception, CD. And it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it. Or you start thinking about going to his backup. And the drive starts with a completion. Left side. Oh, seven yeah. yards. The pickup on the pitch and catch. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. Operating from the gun, Jackson. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off at the 38. 
They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. Going to give this time to the tailback. And some room to work. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are back within a single score. He just bumped up his personal stats with a second score, but they still have some ground to make up. Not terrific for today because of what you just said. They're still down on the scoreboard. But later in the year, when he piles it all up and starts to think about contract time, that's a pretty good deal for him. And I know darn well that you've got him in fantasy football, don't you? I don't. You always think I, you, you know, I always think I just that. appreciate that you think I'm smart enough to have him in fantasy. Well, you are. Thanks. The Cleveland offense ready to go. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping Chile on the other side of the ball. I said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? So when you do throw the football. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Well, that takeaway partner right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we could make a play, we give our team we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. A game of nine brings up second and one at the 30-yard line. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. You, you, you. Shift, shift. You draw Jack, Jack, Jack. Rock, rock it, rock it. They'll keep it on the ground. Swift. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Hurry, hurry. Check it back, check it back. Hold, hold. Switch gear, switch gear. Get. On first down, Swift. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll drop the throw. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. Hopkins' kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the air. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. Ready, 
The Browns drive about to get started. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first down, and the goal? End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. On the heels of that good carry by Devontae Freeman, here's first and ten. So not his arm, but hurting him with his legs. A gain of 19 on the keeper and a first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They run, Devontae Freeman. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Stepping up, he'll try and run. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. Jackson flush to his right and that is incomplete and here's a big one now try to hold this lead they're going to go for it here on fourth down Try and throw for it with Jackson. Rolling to his left. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. First down inside the 10. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. A 23-yard run. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. Well, it would be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. This will be taken very short. Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Hey, Sam off. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. Check. 
to throw. Holmes has got it complete. A good pick up there. 18 yards as they get closer for third down. On third down, Swift. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They'll look to throw here. Right side, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Hey, Alpha! One final shot. They'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And this is going to be caught. So it affects the final score, not the outcome, but it is a late touchdown here on the game's final play. Ready, ready. Well, there you go, Charles, his first touchdown pass of the new season. Well, let's just go back to his rookie year because he's able to get his feet wet, right? Got a little bit of experience. Now I think here in year two, the game will slow down for him, and we'll see his true talents come out. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up in.